Surveillance on Bregman's was called. He took off in his car around 5 a.m. They followed him to his lawyer's building. He went in the underground garage. They still watching? Well, they thought they were. He switched cars with his attorney and he slipped them. Logan. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, hold him there. They got Bregman over near the 10th Avenue freight trestle. So we figured the car was maybe uh, jacked or abandoned. But this guy's just sitting in the front seat. Not a very smart move, Mr. Bregman. I did what I had to do. Doesn't this thing have a car phone? You could have called us, right? They took the phone and the keys. I was stuck here. How'd they get in touch with you? Through my lawyer. He received the call from them. If you had told us where the pickup was, we could have been ready for it. I didn't know. They instructed me over the car phone. They had me drive around, and they made me come here. Same as before, lie down on the front seat. After a few minutes, I heard someone take the keys. They opened the trunk and took the money. How many were they? I didn't see. I didn't look up. I did what they told me. Look, it's over. It's done. Over for who? I'm looking around. I don't see Jason. It's not over for him. This guy. What, he thinks it's a business deal? You give him the money, you get the kid? Like buying a building? Hey, if somebody grabbed my kid, I wouldn't care what anybody told me. I'd hock everything I own, do whatever it took to get her back. And I know better. Well, they were feeding him instructions over the car phone. And they had to be someplace where they could watch him, make sure he wasn't being followed. Now, he said it was only a couple of minutes before they got the key, right? What do you say we tried that bodega? Before him, the last white guy I've seen around here was Clinton, and he had the Secret Service. How many calls did he make? Not Clinton, the other guy. I wasn't counting. He'd make a call and go sit in his van to make another call. What color was the van? Mm, that was white, too. But you're watching him make calls, and you don't know what he looks like? I was listening to Howard. You listen with your eyes? Come on, tall, short, thin, fat. Oh. Average guy, about your height, sharp dresser, hat on the yellow jacket. Hey, Ludd's give us three calls from the deli to Brigman's car phone. Unfortunately, Layton says no usable prints off the pay phone. Can't catch a break here. Well, maybe we just did. Take a close look at that. Two other calls, same time frame, another number. Updating the people holding Jason? Pay phone. In the South Bronx. The bastards couldn't live in Gramercy Park. <laughs> that thing's still in service. Dial tone. A lot of places around here to hide somebody. Yeah. Or bury him. Jason outlived his usefulness the minute they got that ransom. I'm gonna call the troops. We'll start a canvas. Hi. It's a little late in the year to be working the garden, isn't it? it? Ain't too late for squash. I'm Detective Mike Logan. This morning around 6, were you out here? I told you that was a drug business. My wife don't trust anyone. Yeah, we're interested in anybody who was using that phone. A white man, I think. Had a brand new car. He was there for almost two hours. What kind of car? I don't know about cars. It was new and big. I can only give you the license number. You took down the license? I'm on neighborhood watch. I learned all the correct procedures in the citizen patrol course. Now, this last number here is either a three or an eight. You mind if I give her a hug? Looks like a shirt my ex-sister-in-law once sent me. Yeah, it smells like any one of your shirts. Yes? We're looking for a Shepard Watson. I'm Shep Watson. What is it? Mr. Watson, I'm Detective Logan, and this is Detective Briscoe. You mind if we have a word with you inside? Oh, sure. Excuse the mess. I'm uh, getting ready for a show. What is it? Is there another robbery in this building? Uh, do you own a 92 Chrysler with the license plate 2PR508? Yeah, it's in the garage. Where was it yesterday morning around 6? Uh, we were in the South Bronx. 
scary. <laughs> we could have used you guys. What was the attraction? I'm looking to do something big. You know, terrestrial. Like Cristo. The artists who covered the hills of California with umbrellas. Yeah, didn't one of them fall and kill somebody? Well, <laughs> I'm planning to do something a lot less lethal in the South Bronx. So you're an artist. Uh, do you know a Jason Bregman? I've heard of him. Of course, his father's very important in the art world. Officers, I don't understand. Did I run a stop sign yesterday? Were you wearing that? <laughs> I hate winter colors. <laughs> Dumb, froze my butt off. Well, how about we thaw it out down at the precinct? This is art. Maybe I missed my calling. A little much here for a weekender. <clears throat> well, well. Aruba! Guess who's gonna miss the dinner flight? What's that? The squash garden? Uh-huh. That building? We saw it from the payphone. More buildings. Same block. Maybe Jason's current address. Maybe we should get the dogs back. Hey, detective! I think maybe we got something. I heard tapping. I listened. I didn't hear nothing. What tap? In the toilet up there on the first floor. It tapped and then it stopped. You want to check the plumbing? Plumbing starts in the basement. <laughs> so when does the guy with the metal fingernails jump out? Hey, guys, want to walk off some donuts here? Yeah. 